Hey everyone, this is Manshark Sub LPs. I'm Sub, and this is Half Life 2. We are, of course, Gordon Freeman, theoretical physicist, and uh, we're about to engage in some heavy physicsing, as you may be able to determine from the steely look of our compatriots here, Barney, and the free randoms that we have. Um, we're inside the. Thanks to the cockatoos outside. We're in the chapter Follow Freeman, and we're outside the Overwatch Nexus, where we have an achievement to get. Fight the power, shut down the suppression device by disabling the generators. Uh, guys, you don't want to go through there. Just, just going to make that one real clear. A lot of grenades, even an infinite source of grenades. You might ask why. The answer is really... Uh-oh, turrets. Hey, you've got the HEV suit, you deal with them. Then I'll work the security console. So, that thing there. Put it in. Maybe get out of the way. Great. Mm, I'll open this that door. hurt. Can you give me some healing? Here, pat yourself off. Thank you. Alright, so he's opened this up here. A nice... Oh, some health in case we didn't have anybody with us. Very cool. Excuse me. Now the question in is, and I'm pretty sure the answer is going to be this way. Oof. Uh oh, drop ships. They'll be coming from the roof. All right. Well, let's go. If we want to get to these shields, we'll have to take out the generators one at a time. Okay, that's that one pot, but there's still one over here. I'm gonna run like crazy in here. Thank you very much. Don't worry, guys. There we go. I think I got it. Jeez, that thing does a lot of damage. Okay, I didn't get it. Hey, out of the way, losers. Thank you. Match. Really? This isn't going well for us. How are my things bouncing out of there? Barney should be immortal though. <laughs> Whatever. Oh hey, wasn't there health back here? Yes, but we'll have to cross over that. Is there health in here by any chance? No. Alright, screw it. We're just going to continue on. <clears throat> Lost our whole damn squad. These things suck. Hey, it's oh. Here. Speaking of uh, losing the whole squad. We're back. Hey, it's Freeman. Let's follow him. Yeah, follow Freeman. Fantastic. Like, seriously? Are we just not going in properly? Alright, let's just walk around them then. Ignore the damn things. <coughs> right. Is the generator? You just pop it. As he says, two more to go. Man, Overwatch owns the roof, and that's where we're headed. Sure is. Uh, I'm gonna do that one last. Nor do I. Yes. Barney, talk to me. Hey guys. Nice. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go back to that room that we were just in, because that's where we want to be. Out of my way, losers. Thank you. Pick up the hopper. Wow. With that much security, there must be something good in there. 
Go for it, Doc. I'll wait here till you shut it down. So obviously we don't want to cross for laser beams. This is a bit of an exercise in uh movement controls. Don't worry about that, it's just for suppression device playing up. Uh, get rid of the poppers while you can, just because they will be annoying. That's not the right way, this is the right way, up here, up here. Um, and I think we want to go across like this, see if we can pull the hoppers up. Just dump them down somewhere nice and safe. I'm a little cautious about that because I think it could cross the line. That's fine where it is. Okay, down here, over here, down here. Yeah, you know what? It is pretty nice in here. Alright, continuing on. The generator. Two of three. One generator to go. That take out this thing? No. Combine. Can see the other generator. Ooh, I think that was a really good shot. All right, let's go. Um. Yeah, we got to go back through. Backed up into the corner, it would have been really hilarious. There is a turret there. Where is he? Boys, kindly deal with the combine. That's not how you deal with a combine. You better reload. Come here, thank you. Ooh, grenade. Nice. Um, I have made the slight mistake of, uh... Oh, that doesn't count. Well, leave it as that. That did. Sorry, boys. Okay, I think that definitely went in. Yeah, good. Ultimately not really worth it. Alright, let's go. We've got one more generator to bust. And it is unfortunately... ...in here. In this room that looks like a goddamn defense mission, because it is. So what I want to do... We have a couple of hopper mines. Uh, sorry, Freeman. And we're going to put them here. Come on. Come on. And this one can go here. Sorry, Doc. And we're just going to pop these while we can. Cool. Grenades are always handy. As is armor. Come on. Can I get that last one? I can. Wonderful. Uh, okay, everybody, I need you Let's in the go. room. In the room. Thank you. You too, Barney. Sorry, Freeman. You lead the way. Gimme. Nothing here, nothing here, anything around here. Really don't think so. There we go. We're surrounded. <laughs> That hopper mine was definitely like a good option. Sorry, no. So they are going to come for us, and we're going to try and come in both doors. Open fire, Gordon. Of course, some of it does get hilarious because we put the uh, hopper mines there.
No, we did have some damage at the very least. I wonder if... Nope. So they're going to start sh like zzzzing down the doors. It's pretty cool. Yeah, there we go. Try using the hoppers against them. Use the hoppers against them, can I? Ooh, maybe. Get some traps for them, Gordon. Doesn't really help. I've already used the hoppers. Nobody coming in this door this time, which is interesting. That was probably a bit too early. That one wasn't. Nice. Oh, now that one's going? Okay. Mm. Bit of a problem, huh? Jeez, that hurt. Okay, we got them both. Ooh. Health and pop. Oh, and there's health in here too. Very cool. Shame about all the armor that we lost. Excuse me. Let's head for the roof now, Gordon. Alright, so that was our achievement about the roof suppressor, so we better cross that off. That's fight the power done. Da -da 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 -da. All good. And now let's boom. I don't know how many I got just then, but now this guy's still here. Where's a grenade? I know there's health around here because we Bodies. missed it coming up. Let's go. This is the way to the roof. Up, oh, up, oh, back up, boys. Back up. Barney, I know you're immortal, but come on. Roof is Pretty sure he's immortal anyway. Follow me. If he's not, he better not be running into any more hoppers. Oh, there's another one there. Hey. Ooh, rockets as well. You know why it's giving us rockets, don't you? Because we're going to need them. I'm going to stay here and keep these gates open long enough to make a difference. Go on up and connect the sky bridge. We need to let reinforcements come through from every possible direction. There's a sky bridge, guys. If any more citizens come through, I'll send them up to find you. See you when I see you, Gordon. Right, and just in case you didn't have a rocket launcher, now you do. Okay, quite clearly... Damn it. I'm gonna just charge it. And a loading screen. Know why I'm using this? There's a crepe right there. And because it's funny. Also, um, yeah, dudes down here and all that kind of thing. You can hear the striders. That deep fudding noise. Where is he? Over there? Pretty sure I got him. Where are the striders anyway? They're definitely around. Alright. <coughs> are they connected? They're mine. That gunship, let's take it down. That's fine. It's hard to find find where to hit it from anyway. The music has started up. One. Two. Plenty of cover, plenty of cover. We're out of ammo. Now we've got ammo. The 
which you prioritize targeting the thing against it. There's a strider, my boy. Is that a kill? That is. I'm gonna try and kill that strider, by the way, because it will help us out a lot in the future. I don't have to scrabble for rockets. I might just run away. You know what? That's fine. Ooh, new target. I'm not sure if we have enough rockets to take it down in one. But it's really useful if we, you know, hit it all around a bit. I can still hear a strider somewhere. low on health, but that's fine. Where'd it go? Is it running away? Yeah, but I'm still gonna hit it for all time's sake. And I see the strider as well. That's not a machine, by the way. Okay, there's something shooting at me from the other side. Get him? I think that one's running away. Yeah, nice. Alright, losers. Good, there's health and armor right here. It knew we were going to need it. That is not the rooftop strider battle, by the way. The next achievement is giant killer. It's by the rooftop strider battle. Um, yeah, that wasn't it. I wouldn't come out of the bridge section. It's like very much uh Perfect head height by the way. That's why we switched to the pistol. Avoid that. Always avoid those energy balls. They do a lot of damage. Uh, the other reason I'm using the pistol is because it's accurate at long range. Harden the noise. Alright, you know what? We're done. Next one of you pokes out. Do I have to actually go over there? Ooh, missed him. All right, let's go. There were not this many of you, seriously. Yeah, I think that was a constantly spawning thing. Oh well, here we are now. In a looting zone. I wonder what time I started recording. I totally didn't set a timer. Probably about 10 minutes ago. Yeah. Dr. Freeman, since you shut off the suppressor and opened the gate, we can really move people through now. 
The Combine's gonna feel the squeeze. We dropped a crate of rockets coming across the plaza. If you can make it there, you drop them? everything you need to take down these striders. <sighs> follow Freeman. Yep, follow Freeman. This part also sucks. Because of the striders. Now they don't shoot down the rockets. But it takes a number of them to actually do the job. Like a huge number of them. Excuse me, lads. Yeah, you are. Also, they have like a black hole gun sort of thing. Oh, there's another one. We really need to get across this thing. The crate of rockets is in the middle over here. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Health. Oh, and some rockets. Not the crate. Not the crate that we promised, but a crate. Well, some rockets. I hope if you guys actually were firing rockets, it worked. Okay. That was a fair amount of damage. Oh, one's down, one's down. No more rockets, guys. I think I have to make the bolt. Oh, I got some more rockets. And there's the crate! Oh god, we are not in a good way. Can I see any of them? Yeah, I can. Got to hit like a truck. One more should do it. Yep. Let's add another one. Yeah. Need to start popping some of these crates. Yeah, that's fine. Just let me pop all these crates and get the stuff. Yeah, it's a bit of a dramatic use. Is that a death, or...? Yeah, I thought I heard one still. Oh, hey, nice. Good free health. Thank you for opening this up. <sighs> Alright. Let's get back to it. Whoa. The hell shot me off combine. The standard old combine. Not a kill yet. They do start moving very erratically once they get shot a few times. The key is definitely to hit them in the main. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. I'm just gonna sort of... You know what? If we're long distancing. It's not the best long distance weapon, to be honest, because you got to aim so damned high. And also, the travel time is so excessive. Headshot. Let's go. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Um, yeah, this looks like about where we're supposed to go. So that was a major battle, wasn't it? And, uh, yes. 
I have died there many a time, but we did alright this time, surprisingly. I swore I'd die at least once. Alright, let's continue on. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna kill that guy. Now, this looks a little sus, doesn't it? <sighs> there it is. Welcome to the rooftop strider battle. Oh, God, I can't see shit. Okay, guys. What am I stuck on? Tires. Okay, anyway, they're a stride, isn't it? God damn it. And regular losers as well. Let me just pop the damn barrel. Okay. There are a lot of striders around this building right now, I think. There might only be one. Oh, okay. You see it? These damned light things? Son of a bitch. If you just sort of came up there and these light things were around, they'd get you. There's the Strider. <sighs> we have to kill that Strider, but we do not have enough rockets. Recall from our earlier battle, it takes, what, four or five rockets to take one down? We definitely do not have four or five rockets. We are limited. Well, to three, but I only have one. So even if I... Even if I were accurate and had enough, like, main capacity, I don't have enough capacity at the moment. And at the moment we're just kind of clearing out the, ooh, there it is. Can we go up here? Or was that blocked? That was blocked. Okay. It's walking around, trying to find where we are. Oh, hi. It knows where I am now. Wouldn't be surprised if it started shooting, which would be... Oh god. Okay, well if you want to be up there. That's also fine, I guess. Really? Another one? Okay, we're gonna run. I mean, ultimately, thank you, because we actually need that. Ooh. Double thank you. Because I'm pretty sure these are blocked. Yes, they are. What's up? Remember, they don't really shoot in bursts, they just shoot. Where is... World's worst position. Got it. These damned... things keep on showing up. At least for a valid source of, um... energy. Alright, I'm just going to hit this fucking thing with a rocket and see what happens. Well, maybe. There's supposed to be a, um... 
Hi. God damn it. I got rockets now. Infinite rockets at that. Maybe it is just one stride through this thing. Also, that's five rockets it took, so I guess it might be six. Six? What are we treating glancing blows differently or something? Seven's a kill. Wow. That's way too much. These are all. I think that counts as a lambda cache. And a loading site. Hey, what's up, Dr. Freeman? Dr. Freeman! It's a mess out there. This close to the Citadel, they've turned the streets over to Striders. I think we can push them back if we can just get to high ground. Don't worry, my friend, All we can. The Citadel wall, Doc. I don't know how the hell we're gonna breach it, but you've made it this far. Oh I'm no, sure this... This could be the rooftop Strider battle. Because this is... Nasty. Alright, we gotta get to the horse. That's the horse up there, by the way. Don't know if you saw it. Very nice. Music kicks in. Okay, got one at least, got a few. Hey, you want me to hit you with a rocket? Sorry guys, it's uh, the Hornet Freeman business. Yeah, we're getting absolutely wrecked down here. Okay, I think we have to go into this hole. A lot of running involved here, guys. Don't worry about it. Oof. I'm gonna have to leave the squad. I'm sorry, guys. You know, shooting of a thing doesn't help. Ooh, hi, there's another strider. Dun, 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 dun. Oh yeah, notice the beeping. That's not me. <sighs> really guys? It wasn't all that effective, was it? Hey losers. Very much. Yep, yep, yep. Two medics, that should be enough to keep me alive. Jeez, alright. Play. Nope, we are. Out of a good ammo. Out of a good ammo, I mean rockets. Ooh.
Keep in mind, every time it uses one of those implosion rounds, it is usually... Oh, crap. That's not going to hit me. Good. It is usually doing so... to open up a new section of the map. Good, he missed. No, we're actually out of that ammo. Can't. I'm not quite sure if I'm supposed to be charging ahead here or what. We're making some sort of weird, like, movement. Perfect. See what I mean? We fought here for a while, it opened a uh, way for us. Ooh. I know it's mostly health, which is cool, but, you know, any ammunition is good. the smartest thing to do to use all that ammunition. Okay, that's cool. I need to get in here. Very good, very good. Just give me the armor. And this. Very nice. Yeah, my new Vera. Ah. And now we've found what we've been looking for. Welcome to the Rooftop Strider battle. Complete. With a gunship. I know it's here. I heard it. a lot better than usual, because usually they're ducking the covering and all that sort of shit. There we go. Three. Thank you. For the med kit. Okay, striders down. Five away. There's the horse. Very nice. Alright, let's just get down here. Still heading for the horse. Um, I don't actually know. Maybe we're supposed to be upstairs. Let's go back upstairs. Yeah, like that sort of shit. Really? You wanna play that game? Don't worry, I'm not leaving without anyone. We were looking to join you, Dr. Freeman. Alright, what do we got here? That's not a valid path, surely. God, I wish you weren't all standing there. That is really awkward now that I have to Yeah, nudge you all back. Come on. I think I see the proper path though. It's round here, right? Why would they put these girders here? Unless I was supposed to do this. Perfect. Pretty good. Oversight on it too. We were What's up, freedom fighters? Boy, dog. Come back here, dog. dog and Barney are here. 
Don't worry about the grenade. Hey, what's up, Bonnie? Crashing through the plaza, knocking over walls, and I think he's looking for Alex. He seems to have it set in his head that she's in the citadel. She is. I figured Alex wouldn't want him getting any deeper in trouble, but hell, you try stopping him. All right. you to go through Gordon you'd better hurry well before we do that we're just going to pause the game and cross off giant killer survive the rooftop strider battle in the ruins of city 17 and then we're going to uh, unpause and continue perfect censoring all right. Our benefactors. I think this is the last chapter. Welcome to Citadel. I'm um, pretty sure there are headcrabs down here, because there are headcrabs fucking everywhere. And it would just be annoying enough to put them here. Wouldn't you think? That's our way in, by the way. And yes, if you fall down there, dead. As that head crab has just demonstrated for us. Alright, so we walk along here. Very nice. I think we need to wait for it to come back up, because that fall is definitely too much. There we go, then over to here. And now we can go up. Probably best to use a shotgun. could kind of say now we're truly in the citadel. I feel like this was the intended path. Down there perhaps? Observe. By the way. So we have a choice get into one of the other, one of them will kill you. It is also the most obvious choice for you. Hit A to get into it, and uh, let's go on a trip. It's a bit reminiscent of the start of uh, Half-Life 1 or Black Mesa, where we uh, sort of on rails, as it were. It is a bit jerky, of course. Be easy with it, it's a game from 2004. <coughs> also notice that we can't use our weapons, mainly because our arms are bound at our sides while we're in the pod. All we can do is look around in this very limited field of view. But this is how we infiltrate places. Through blind luck. Those uh, stalkers, the things without the proper legs, they used to be people.
technically harmless, by the way. <coughs> technically. Can we zoom? We can still zoom. Nice. Stork is heading out to the war. And also troop drop ships up there. Really we're just getting a big old tour of just how much is involved in the combine shit. Gunships. The blade trains. <coughs> Which only really seem to exist for the purpose of transporting prisoners. Ah, here we are. A destin- no? Not a destination? We're not getting off there? Alright. Oh yeah, this. Yep. Listen carefully. Security alert. Unregistered weapons detected. Confiscation field engaged. <coughs> They go all our weapons. Aww. Welcome to the super gravity gun. You may have realized that previously we were unable to do a lot of things with this. But now we can grab people. So we can grab heavier objects, we can grab people. Anybody hit by our shit? So this is Dr. Oh Freeman. hey, it's Dr. Breeze. Well listen. I wish I could say this was a pleasant surprise, but it's neither a surprise nor, as you will surely agree, very pleasant. Well, I am nothing if not pragmatic. He's going to taunt us on our way up, by the way. Oh, and uh, because we've got the supercharged gravity gun, we can now have 200 suit armor. Use it as a shield. And then hit him with it. You'll also notice that every time that we hit a gun, it vanishes. That's to make us use the gravity gun. Yeah, that too. You can just hit people, by the way, with the punting function. Under other no, we're back. I like to think we might have been able to work together in an atmosphere of mutual trust and respect. Certainly judging from your brief tenure at Black Mesa while I was its administrator, you showed every promise of becoming a valuable and productive contributor to the scientific process. And yet, I'm not sure what spurred you to it. But there is really no place in this enterprise for a rogue physicist. Yeah, we're a rogue physicist. You better believe it. And you really do need the armor. Because, um... Everything does so much damage to you already that it's like... Without being able to hide and shoot things... Oh yeah, we can still use those little loopy things too. Um, I think there's a reason for coming up here. Was it literally to take the generator thing out?
Oh no, I missed this huge ass tunnel, huh? Oh yeah, and these also heal health now. Which is very appreciated. Oh, by the way, more achievements. Um, I'm sure we've got it already, like, even if we weren't, you know, doing things. But use these balls. Really? <sighs> the achievement is... Disintegrate 15 soldiers by throwing them into the, a combined ball field. Now, whether that's me hitting them with the ball, probably isn't, or me grabbing them and throwing them into shit, um, it doesn't matter. We've probably got it already, even if we didn't already have it, which we do because, you know, I'm good at this game. Not to brag or anything. Hey, losers. Your mentors are partly to blame. Of course, my disappointment in Eli Vance and Isaac Kleiner is far greater than my sorrow over your unfortunate choice of career path. In a way, I suppose you could not have done otherwise. Who knows what seeds of iconoclasm they planted when you were young and gullible. But while they certainly share a great part of the responsibility for the recent troubles, it is you alone who have chosen to act in such willful disregard for humanity's future. Yeah, we can take it all apart. It's great. Okay. Hmm. I think we just need to get in here and hit that. Really? A grenade? That's why we put all the things there. <sighs> Bit hard to aim this guy, I guess. Where's my damn lift? Seriously, where's my damn lift? Was it, was it you up there? Are you stopping my lift? I think he was stopping my lift. Yeah, here it comes. Hopefully I didn't just kill him for no good reason, but I feel like I had a pretty good reason. They are traitors, you know. Traitors to humanity. Alright, here we are on the lift. This part sucks. I know I say that about a lot of parts, but this is essentially one big defense mission. She's got to kind of... you do have these balls all the way through it, which is kind of fun. But it's a lot easier to just grab people. Move around just in case. I hear him, I hear him, I hear him. Where are they? The ball would actually be a lot quicker, I feel, because it would have just blasted them. Is this our stop, by the way? No, it's not. Okay, where are they going to appear next? Ah, uh huh. Right. Ooh. If 
That's a good one. See, if we didn't have the proper shielding, of the advanced shielding, we'd be dead by now. Well dead. Okay, we actually took out the generator thing. Very nice. Tell Hello, Dr. Brain. Freeman, if you can, you have destroyed so much. What is it exactly that you have created? Can you name even one thing? I thought not. It's not fair, making fun of me being a mute. Ooh. Very well deserved. So it can be better to just primary fire on them, because it knocks them around a lot. Back, Mr. Brain. I have laid the foundation for humanity's survival. <coughs> and not as we have narrowly defined ourselves, but as something greater than we could ever imagine. Something we can now only begin to glimpse. Mm, probably not far enough. Okay, I still want one of these. Because it's cover. I could use one of the pods as cover, but I also just don't want to. Hi. Jeez, that has hurt a lot. Pretty sure we have to do this. We'll just run in between his legs. Honestly, not sure. That's probably better. Come on, come on, come on. Made it. Oh, there's a health thing here. Just for me. That was close, by the way. That was really close. 20 health. <sighs> Alright. No other option. We have to do it. But we have just uh, gotten ourselves right up to the end. Um, I'm going to... continue this, by the way. I know we don't have much time left in the episode, maybe 10 minutes or so. But I really feel like um, at the end it doesn't take that. Oh, there is kind of a tower climb. We really should do it all this episode. Because if we don't, next episode will be really short. Anyway, they know where we are, so now we're being directed. Straight up. Which coincidentally is exactly where we want to be. I'm coming for you, Dr. Breen. See some things that we haven't seen before, like those, whatever they are. Gunships headed out. More heading up. While we're heading in directions, I'm going to cross Lambda Locator off our list. We've at this point, we should have found all the Lambda Acacias in Half-Life 2. By now. Just slows down for us to get a nice view of City 17. Or at least the... Skybox of it. 
can't fault them, it was 2004. Good job, guys. And a loading screen. Now this is the last chapter, Dark Energy. We have one objective here, which is to destroy the Citadel's reactor core. Alright, so we have been thoroughly disarmed. And here's Dr. Mossman. I'll take him from here. Don't struggle, it's no use. Until you're where he wants you, there's nothing you can do. I'm sorry, Gordon. Meteorological intelligences. Worlds stretched thin across the membranes where the dimensions intersect. intersect. <laughs> Impossible to describe with our limited vocabulary. What I've seen is also beyond words, Breen. Genocide. Indescribable evil. Good God. Well, if it isn't Gordon Freeman at last. What's this? I'll put it over there. You have my gratitude, Doctor. <coughs> First you lead me straight to the doorstep of my oldest friend, and then you deliver yourself? If I'd known you were going to come straight up to my office, I wouldn't have bothered hunting you in the first place. Having both of you in my keeping ensures I can dictate the terms of any bargain I care to make with a combine. <laughs> Dr. Breen. Huh. Wallace. Yes, Judith, what is it? The bargain we should be making is for Eli's life so he can continue his research. Thanks to you, we have everything we need in that regard. You're more than qualified to finish his research yourself. What neither you nor I can do is convince that rabble in the streets to give up their senseless struggle. Yet Eli refuses to speak the words that would save them all. Save them? For what? Eli, if you won't do the right thing for the good of all people, maybe you'll do it for one of them. Alex, I need... Dad. Gordon? No. God damn you, Bree, you let her go. That's all up to you, my old friend. Will you let your stubborn short-sightedness doom the entire species, or will you give your child the chance her mother never had? <laughs> How dare you even mention her? Alex, my dear, you have your mother's eyes, but your father's stubborn nature. You haven't seen a bit of it yet. Really? Well, let's see how well it serves you on the far side of a combined portal. Go ahead, Bree. If that's the worst you can do, send us both through your portal. Oh, it's hardly the worst. But you might find that hard to believe once you get there. It isn't necessary. I agree. It's a total waste. Fortunately, the Resistance has shown it is willing to accept a new leader. And this one has proven to be a fine pawn for those who control him. No! Don't listen to him, Gordon! How about it, Dr. Freeman? Did you realize your contract was open to the highest bidder? Gordon would never make any kind of deal with you. I understand if you don't wish to discuss this in front of your friends. I'll send them on their way, and then we can talk openly. Don't struggle, honey. Dad. I'm so sorry. Alex, sweetheart. Oh. Judith, what do you think you're doing? We're doing what I could never do alone. We're stopping you. Yes. Guards, get in here. They know you betrayed them. They'll turn on you. Judith, Dr. Mossman, please. I'm sorry, Wallace. You're all out of time. Don't. Alright, he grabs a gravity gun. Dad, hang on. You fool! Watch out, he's gonna- No! Dad! Oh, no, no, no. Don't worry about me, honey. There's no time, Alex. He's on his way to the portal. You'll need this. Dr. Mossman. Judith. Look after my father. Don't you worry. Dad, I'm not saying goodbye. Never. 
All right. On, in go. the meantime, let's go. Yeah. Gordon, we haven't known each other very long, but we're gonna have a new episode here because it will take us a bit more time, and you know, we will be severely over it otherwise. So uh, next time, we're gonna go complete chasing Breen through the Citadel Tower up to the reactor, and we're gonna blow it up. In the meantime, though, I've been Sub, you've been yourselves. Later!